once again are being proven correct. Vosh L. <laughs> The serfs, L. All these social democrats who say we must resist China, Naomi Klein, L. We must resist China because what they do to Taiwan. We must resist authoritarianism, L. You U.S. State Department bootlicking fucks. Our, I said on RBN months ago that when you ask people in Taiwan, the people who are not propped up by the media, the Western media, they will have a Taiwan separatist protest. They will, oh my God, Taiwan protest, Taiwan pro, separatist protest breaks out. And then there will be a counter protest and say, no, we won't stay in Beijing. And then they will ignore that. <laughs> and and anti imperialists know this. So this is the this is the map. Uh, this is Kim.com. Um, the next embarrassment for the Pentagon and Joe Biden. After US Warhawks launched their let's go to China over Taiwan strategy. Voters in Taiwan switched their vote to the political party that supports the one China policy. <laughs> Another Joe Biden L. So blue shows the same party in Taiwan. Only thing I know about them is that they support, they, they want to stay with China. But I also know that the people who are Taiwanese separatists, they are extremely Western. They love Western culture and they love free market capitalism, and a lot of them are class traders. You mean like Florida? So that's like the Florida. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's like yeah, Florida. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's the Florida of Taiwan. Okay. <laughs> Taiwanese president, uh, massive L, massive L. So the Taiwan's president resigns as party leader after the massive election losses. And now this the, the Taiwan president backed by U.S. Western forces and a pretty much a big capitalist who trying her best to sell out Taiwan to the West. She took a massive L because she was trying to take advantage of, of all the U.S. nonsense to rally support behind yeah. uh, leaving uh, 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 China. And I'm going to read, read this part here. Because I cut out, just for a second time, I cut out the part of Archon I wanted to read because they give a lot of context here. Here's another tweet. Western media is largely silent on this major news from Taiwan. Giant news. That the president party, the president's party has officially been defeated. Uh, Sai is known for being against China and wanting to push independence. And then after her stance of pushing uh, for leaving Taiwan and pushing for independence, Taiwanese people switch parties to the point where she was embarrassed to now she has to resign. Oh, well, that's the same man. lady that was in the video greeting. Yes. Nancy Pelosi. She is so, now gone. <laughs> so what, what I say, CJ, like what I say so Nancy Pelosi, kiss of death. <laughs> kiss of death. It's all, all the UK lawmakers. Doing photo op with these people, they saw Nancy Pelosi go to Taiwan. They said, "Hell no!" Nah. And once again, I, I'm not an expert in Taiwanese domestic politics, so they probably was like, oh, "We got we got disagreements with the opposition party because I'm sure they they not they're not perfect, right? I'm sure of it." But they probably like, despite our dif differences on domestic issues uh, regarding the domestic policy, uh, this is ridiculous. So we we signed with the opposition. So this is embarrassing. And how many uh, do you see this segment on TYT? Humanist Report, the, so the Social Democrats. No, breaking call. points. Breaking points. You know they're not reporting on this shit. Did they or you did they not? You know Sauger. No, no. I, well, I don't think Sauger. We can actually, I'll pull it up. I'll, I'll bring no, it up. Okay, I'm going to say that. I'll put it up on my phone here. I'm um, curious to see, like, what side, what sort of angle dude, would about approach this. Sauger <laughs> about being in full-fledged cope mode. I actually really hope they cover it. I, 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 cannot, uh, I don't see it. I, I, oh, he's covering I, I, the mass protest like is like the protest is about to end the whole country. They covering it, uh, covering it that way. So but as of two look, days, look, look, uh, sorry, sorry, CJ, but as of two days, I don't see it. But I give them like another day or two to give them grace and see if they get them. around. Get around. Well, go ahead, CJ. Like, you can this, finish your this, point. Yeah, this 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 speaks to the, the media not covering this. It's only so that they can uh, sort of. Uh, 
not inform their audience what's actually happening because this goes against their narrative that this Taiwan wants to. It's like, well, no, if you believe in democracy, look at the map. The majority of people, vast majority, are saying, no, we want one China. So Nancy Pelosi is putting the United States and, and, and pushing us closer to a nuclear war for what? When the vast majority democratically voted for one China. So it makes the United States look like buffoons and Nancy Pelosi specifically. That's why I believe the media is not really going to cover this because it literally makes you look like an idiot. Absolutely. And it, it, it literally debunks everything they say. I literally was uh, looking for articles when I was prepping for the story and I still see, actually I'll probably pull them up because I saw them today, but they're still saying stuff like we need to be prepared for Chinese invasion in the Taiwan. Still, to the, they ignore the election altogether. Uh, I, I literally might take time to find those stories. Cause I literally saw them today. I didn't say I didn't bookmark them though. I read this last part and I see I find if I if I can find some for just for laughs. But I, I put I clicked this part of the story out because just for efficiency and time, uh, that sums up here what happened as well. This from that this is from uh, this article. I just trimmed it. Uh, China's Taiwan Affairs o- Office said the results showed that mainstream Taiwanese public opinion was for peace, stability, and a good life, which Beijing provides for Taiwan because of the trade. That's why it's, and it, and this is something that um, anti-imperialists have been saying for a while, and what we've been warning people in Taiwan, and I'm glad that a lot of people are smart to realize, U.S. do not have the best interests at heart. They see what they're doing in Ukraine, they see their adventures in other countries, and they realize that as well. Because what the United States want, they want to have their Western companies and free market capital dominate the region. And Taiwan does great business with Beijing, and that led to a boom of quality of life in Taiwan as well. And not most people realize that, as shown in this poll, and as I broke down months ago. And that Beijing would keep working with Taiwan's people to promote peaceful relations. So the people want Beijing to keep working with Taiwan's people to promote peaceful relations and to oppose Taiwan independence and foreign interference. Thank you, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, I, I, I'm going to see if I... Actually, I'm going to... Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you guys just some... Let's see if I can find some headlines here. Uh, that would be the official wrap. Here, look, here's one. Um... Oh, that's uh, Xi Jinping or China, uh, Ukraine, uh, peace talks. Okay, that's one. Let's see if I can find the one. Out. Uh, China opinion. has high speed rail, and America does not. Oh, I didn't read okay. the comment. That's all. Go ahead. Anyway, anyway, not, not. <laughs> Look at this one. They said Congress wants to arm Taiwan, but oh, but hasn't figured out how to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I not, this is not even gonna be a segment. I just want to show you guys. I just saw, I just saw this looking for a story I saw earlier. Oh shit! Hold on, let me, I gotta turn this ad blocker off. I'm gonna show you guys this. This is funny. I just saw this. Congress wants to arm Taiwan, aka AOC in the squad. <laughs> they voted for that, guys. But hasn't figured out how to pay for it. Wow! Look, this came out today. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should do a segment on this. I mean, I, yeah, I'm probably Who would they arm? Them. They would just be arming that small segment of people. I'd read the because first the paragraph. other people, the other people want want to join, want to join, or have one China. So who are they arming? The small, the smaller minority of people that they're talking about. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I might do a segment on that later. But uh, yeah, they they still pretend they all just chug along with the anti Taiwan uh, train.